Yo guys, Katie here. Thanks for joining me. Um, it's been a long time since I did a vlog. Um, excuse, I'm a little bit out of breath and uh, the way I look, I've got a little bit of a sweaty glow right now. Um, I've just been to the gym for the first time by myself for like a bit of a cardio session, but for the first time in probably, I want to say years, and it probably is years, because usually I bring the kids with me and um, Braylon and Katie didn't feel like coming. They felt like a pajama day at home and it's holidays. So I thought, oh, you know what? Let me go bomb out a session by myself. And it was like a... Um, so I basically wanted to update you guys on um, Blaine. It was his first birthday yesterday. He uh, is going through something. I don't know what's going on, but he's going through a hell of a patch. Um, a couple of weekends ago, we went away um, to the bush, which was absolutely lovely. Um, but he screamed a lot of the holiday. I want to say 40% of that weekend away was Blaney screaming. Screaming on the drive, screaming in the bedroom. He was uh, not the most pleasant and it was actually a lot of hard work that weekend. As much as it was beautiful, I love going to the bush, I love seeing the animals and going on game drives and all of that. And we had the most beautiful view. Um, go check it out, it's called Kalolo Game Reserve. It is absolutely gorgeous um up in Limpopo really really stunning place and the food was delicious it was so good um but it was a very very tough um, weekend and it was also the start of Blaney weaning off of the boob so he wasn't sick or anything not that it, it was obvious to me because he wasn't coughing he didn't have smelly breath so I don't think it was tonsillitis um, maybe a bit of dry air um, because it was super dry and maybe he had dusty throats whatever but um, he basically wanted nothing to do with my boobs and um, the two weeks after that was torture for me it was absolute torture I was in agony I was probably very, very, very close to hitting the hospital. And um, the one day I picked up Braylon, no, Kaylee from school, um, from a little play group. And the teacher was like, just because the boy's gone cold turkey doesn't mean that I have to go cold turkey. And I went home and I pumped. <laughs> so I just tried to pump with longer breaks in between that. And... Um, it seemed to work because now I've got pancakes again. <laughs> um, and I'm totally cool with my pancakes. They are mine. My body is back to mine. Um, we're stopping the breastfeeding. It took two weeks, but uh, my cycle eventually came back. I haven't had a cycle since my postpartum. Um, um, what do you call that? Postpartum bleed, I guess. Um, so it was quite a interesting cycle it was very very tough um it was exceptionally um strong and i was almost vomiting and it was just a rough time my body has gone through a lot so i'm now like in a mode i need to get my body right because it's my body again it doesn't belong to my children and it never will again it's now me and it's up to me to look after myself and my health and my body and and um, as much as I'm happy with the way I look, I don't feel good. Like, I would like to jump longer on the trampoline with the girls. And I would like to run and play hockey a little bit more in the garden. And I mean, I do all of those things. But I just don't feel as fit as I used to. And uh, I love being fit. I love being active. I love being outdoors. And I just want to go back to being me again instead of just being a mom that's breastfeeding a baby all the time um so yeah there's that um Braylon has finished her first uh two terms of uh, grade one or stage one and uh, she's done very well I'm so proud of her she is amazing proud of myself too for, <laughs> for getting through it with her and uh it's nice to have a little bit of a holiday as much as I said her holiday it's kind of my holiday too um I'm seeing more clients in between because obviously I don't have classes to attend to but I have got a little bit of a second to myself now um so I've got two more weeks of this and um I have no plans except maybe a hot chocolate with a friend and my weekends are fully booked um which is I mean not only with clients I mean with social things as well which is quite hectic but 
I like it busy. I'm not one to sit around in the weekend and do nothing. I, I hate that. I hate it. Got ants in my pants. Um, and Kaylee's great as well. She's had a little bit of a cough now. Um, she's had, I don't know, like some type of milestone. So she'll be three at the end of this month. And she is just speaking beautifully. And she's um, physically carrying herself much better. She's a very, very small, um, almost three-year-old. Really, really tiny. We um, had some friends over last weekend. And, I mean, the, the friends who are of similar age children are quite a bit bigger than she is um, so she's a real weenie but she seems to be carrying herself better and she's quite strong for such a tiny little thing and little freaking firecracker she's the most spicy of the lot um, yeah she's a lot but um, they're great the, the kids are great everybody's great um, I'm looking forward to a nice busy weekend. We've got a uh, home, big homeschooling event coming up on Saturday, um, a go-karting event in Pretoria. So I'm looking forward to that. And then on Sunday, we are meeting with, Braylon's got her BFF in her online class, and she actually lives in Botswana. And um, none of the girls know, but they their family is actually coming to Joburg for um, a gender reveal party so they're originally from here so they've obviously got family and friends here and uh, we're meeting up with them on Sunday so yeah Braylon is she doesn't know but she's probably gonna pee in her pants <laughs> I hope she's not too reserved um, but I'll, I'll let you guys know how that goes I'm really really excited to meet up with them and just to see the dynamic between two very good friends online and we'll see how it goes um, in person. But yeah, that was a quick catch up. And um, I hope you guys are all good. Take it easy and we'll chat soon. Ciao, ciao.